Welcome everyone to another sleep aid video. I am your host, Paranormal Poet, and in this video, I'm going to do something different. Oftentimes, when we can't sleep, we often turn to stories to drift off to. The comfort of hearing someone else's voice narrating a story to you, it's very peaceful. So I will. Let it lull you to sleep. Sleep well, poets. Sleep well. There once was a young carpenter, born in a quaint little town. All his life he was constantly building as his outlet for creativity. He enjoyed the hard labor, as to him it was worth seeing the final product finally completed. One day, while sitting at his dinner table, his father, grizzled but kind and always sure never to raise his voice, said, You're a very talented carpenter, son, but I can't keep building with you forever. I'm simply too frail, too old to even help. It's time for me to live my final years of life, relaxing. He calmly stated, But you've been the only one I've worked alongside for so many years. Won't you get bored? Bored? No. I just need a place where I can kick back, relax, and experience the beauty life has to offer to those who know when to take a break. You know, I always wanted a cabin. One that wasn't so big, just small with a view of the sunset from the bedroom window with one thing and one thing only. What is it? A rocking chair. Yes, that's all I need. A rocking chair. That would be my final dream in life to have fulfilled. Confused but excited, he went to work on his father's dream house. He measured the support beams to ensure the sunset would always be visible from where he planned to build the bedroom. He made sure every inch of the house was level. He gave his father a lofted roof, and with a talented mason, intricately designed the stonework of the chimney both indoors and out. He did his absolute hardest to achieve his father's dream. Every day he had dedicated teams of friends and strangers from his town to help with this massive project. The project took at least six months to build properly with insulating and plumbing to ensure the proper necessities were in place. He worked frivolously on this personal project. He poured everything into it. He had fought through every splinter, every time his knee began hurting, or his foot cramped up, he didn't stop until it was done. On the day of the reveal, he walked his father up to the completed cabin where he smiled ear to ear. On the inside where his bedroom was, he was greeted by his family, and in the middle, a rocking chair, like he had asked. They gathered to eat, drink, and laugh, <laughs> and watched the sunset together. When his son woke up the next day, he found his father still in his chair with a note in his lap. He eagerly tried to wake him, but no response. He opened the note to read. To my brave son, thank you for helping me fulfill my last wish on this earth. In my youth, I was shielded from the world. Everything around me was either bad or worse. I was always put to work and never had much good come out of it. Until I grew up and met your mother. She opened my eyes to the beauty of life, and that is why I wished to see the sunset in the most relaxing cabin I could have ever wished for. You allowed me to rest for the last time, and I am ever grateful for that. Do not be sad, I will be smiling. Do not be angry, I will be laughing. And most of all, do not worry. I am no longer suffering, I am at peace. Later in life, he passed his cabin to his son, who told him how important that place meant to him. As a way to pay respect to him, he continued building and helping people in his little community. The End